Hello and welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. Today we are going to learn how do you deal with task manager processes, right? How do you get all these processes? How do you uh, pick specific process? How do you use the process ID number? A lot many things we are going to learn in this video. So let's get quickly started. Now the first thing I, I will do, let me use a assign activity. And we are going to learn about the processes. How do you utilize the task manager processes within UiPath? So for this, the namespace that we'll be using is system dot diagnostics. Okay. So this is the namespace under which we have the process class. Okay. Very simple. So first comes the namespace, then comes the pro class. And then we will use the methods. So these are the different functions or methods you can call it. So first let's start with get current process. Okay. Get current process and click on OK. Now if I have to get what is the current process running. Okay. There could be so many things which might be running. But the current one. The one which is currently open on the on the screen. Right. If I minimize then let's say this, this is my current screen Google Chrome. If I open UiPath Studio, this becomes my current screen. Okay. So now let's create a variable and give it a name as process name. And then you have an error. To rectify this error, you have to select the proper data type. And for this, because we are using system.diagnostics.process, right? System. diagnostics dot process so simply type that you will be able to get the data type hit on ok all right and once you do that this error should be gone let's say i want to see the output of this use a message box drag and drop and then process name process name and i'm going to see i'm going to tell you how you can modify a little bit in the output so first of all let's run it okay the moment you run it what i am expecting the current application which is open it should show me the process name for that okay look at this the process name should appear okay system dot diagnostics dot process and then in the bracket it's saying ui path executor Let's say I do not want system.diagnostic.process. How can I modify this? It's quite simple. All you have to do under the process name, you put a dot and then say, so this is the variable, okay? Process name is nothing but the variable. There is also a function, um, uh, sorry, property known as process name. So this using this property, I can get the right value instead of the entire details. So now if you run it, instead of saying system.diagnostic.process, then in the bracket, you will just get the value which was inside the bracket. Okay, getting it. So this is one thing that you have learned. Okay, now let's learn one more method that is get current process. We got to understand it is just fetching the current window, whichever application it is. Now if I type get, let's put a dot and then type get again. And I'm going to go with get process by ID. Now, how to use this get process by ID? So, if you open task manager, go to details, every process that is running, it has got an ID. Okay. For example, 1752. So, what I will do, let me go here and within the bracket 1752, if I type and click on OK and run this, it's going to tell me 1752 ID by id okay get process by id so 1752 is nothing but is of chrome it's going to give me the output as chrome it's just you know telling with the id it is identifying what is the process so it is saying chrome okay so this is understood now similar way you also have something called name okay so erase this until the dot put a dot again and simply type get there is also something called get process by name Okay, if I say get process by name, 
and here instead of the id likewise we have given id here i'm going to provide a name and click on ok and you can instead of process name you can also fetch the id process id you can say L let me run it okay so the moment you do this so what is happening there's an error do you know why that error is and how to rectify that okay auto hide now let's look at this uh, this is what you have written and what is the error here it is saying cannot assign from type system diagnostic dot process array to the system because when you give a name it is highly possible that with the chrome with the name there could be multiple processes with the id it could be only one but with the name there could be multiple processes getting it so look at look at here for chrome there are multiple chromes okay so it is highly so it becomes a value in a array format so all you have to do in the process name variable which is going to hold that value i am going to change it to you got the answer array of system dot diagnostic dot process the moment i do, do this there should not be any error and to view all of it what i should do i can use a for each loop for each loop and then I can provide the variable array variable and then I can make it to system dot diagnostic process and if I have to see it I, I can use a right line activity let's say and here I want to print the item dot process name you can print the process ID um, you know process name I am going with process name let me run it so these are the different uh, methods of system dot diagnostic dot process which can be utilized so if you know how they work then you can think of a logic wherever however it is required i'm going to show you one demo so you can see here it has written chrome 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 so it is continue to write uh, as per the number of chromes that you see here in the task manager so let me stop it okay let me stop it you can see the output it's writing now there is another method very important method let me delete the for each loop go to the assign activity and here there is something um, known as get uh, processes okay so get processes again it's the same thing okay it is going to get all the processes you don't have to provide anything in the bracket it will just get whatever processes are running in the task manager you can see it so actually you need a for each loop so i am doing a control z and instead of this i am going to remove this put a dot and type dot get processes so if you do get processes what happens all the processes that are there it's going to print so starting from it is not very specific to chrome but anything for that matter avg chrome cmd anything that is running right there are so many processes you can see it's going to pull all of it very simple so this is quite clear give it a give it a second see igfx cui services there will be so many things which will be running shell experience dot host avg ui okay so it will continue it will continue for so many time so i'm going to stop it so these are the four different methods we have learned okay get processes what are those we have learned get current process which is fetching the current window process name get process id we can provide a in the bracket we can provide the uh, id the integer value and we can fetch the name um, or we can utilize in any, any other format next is get processes is nothing but we are finding how many processes are running in a current machine so i'm running it in in my own laptop so it is going to tell me how many such processes are there okay you can also try to get a count uh, many process there are a lot many things can be done now next is get processes by name uh, here we have provided the in the bracket we have provided the name of chrome so how this can be utilized in a smart way there will be many uh, areas or many web portal automations where you generally use this for example i am opening an application in chrome and the application is not responding the moment it is not responding the first thing what we do as human being we will try to close that close the chrome and uh, do a cleanup or maybe close and try to reopen 
that application once again right these are the basic things that we try so many times this will be very very useful to detect if there are any chrome processes running if it is running i want to close it okay so for that all you have to do let me delete all this and let me use a if okay let me use a if activity and in the if activity um, i can use the namespace system dot diagnostics and then dot process class dot uh, get process by name here i'm going to say chrome okay so here i'm saying chrome let me open that in a bigger window system dot diagnostic process dot get process by name chrome once you write this now if you if you leave it here see this doesn't work reason being this chrome means there could be multiple chrome there's an array of values which is coming now if i want to convert that to a boolean format if it is there or not all i have to do is just type dot any okay the moment you type dot any click on okay the output becomes a boolean output if there are any chrome process.exe if there are then you can use a kill process or you can use uh, close applications there are so many different activities that you can use if if i find chrome then um, i want to close it let's say i want to close chrome uh, if um, chrome is not there then let's say i want to open chrome so i can use an open browser activity and i can use the uh, specific something like that you know you can design all that so for the moment let's say in my screen the chrome is open and i want to kill it if i run this what would happen the value of this system dot diagnostic dot process dot get process by name chrome dot any will become true if it is true then it will come here okay then it should kill that so let's say my chrome is open and in the background see the chrome got closed automatically okay now there is no more chrome i had to relaunch chrome now getting it so this way uh, this way you can kill the chrome in case you find if there are any chrome um, processes which are running in the uh, exe so i have opened in the background chrome once again this is how you can work with the system dot diagnostic processes with this class you can utilize all the various methods that are available and these are some of the useful ones which i wanted to show you so i hope uh, you guys uh, must have learned something from this video uh, please do comment please do let me know what else would you like to learn from the upcoming videos thank you guys you have a good day bye bye